Yo, 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 everyone, my name is Chemishima, and welcome to a whole new Let's Play that I'll be introducing to you guys. And it will start off with this screen of Konami, and then we'll slowly and slowly enter the world of a whole new game and a whole new adventure. We'll be playing Super Castlevania 4. Alright, let's jump into it. Every hundred years, the forces of good mysteriously start to weaken. Thus the power of Dracula starts to revive itself. His power grows stronger and stronger every one hundred years. Dracula has revived many times, however, his sinister actions may have been constantly thwarted by the Belmont family. It has been 100 years since the last confrontation between Dracula and the Belmont family. But now, the serenity of Transylvania is being threatened by the destructive forces On a dark and eerie night, Dracula rose from his grave to unleash his destructive power over the countryside. Now, once again, Simon Belmont is called upon to destroy Dracula. With only his whip and courage, he sets out to restore peace to Transylvania. Yeah, alright. Alright, we had to start off very dramatically to get into this game. And so, I welcome you to a whole new adventure that we'll be taking part of in Super Castlevania 4. It's not just Castlevania 4, it's Super. So you know we're taking it to the next level. We're not just stopping at Castlevania 4. We're at Super Mode, man. Super Mode. I was like cranking it to the 11th level. Alright, so we're gonna type in our name, Chema, and I think it'll, that's that's all it'll fit, because I don't think Shima will start. And look at Belmont whipping that whip! <laughs> da 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 da, you must whip it, na 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 na, you must whip it. So it's nice, we're starting off good, uh, we have very good control of the whip actually. Got a knife, we get items and hearts, which I am still a little bit confused on how the hearts work. But I think that's kind of like ammunition for the for the knives or whatever slot you have there as a weapon. As you can see, you can whip the whip in so many directions. And you can also fall through the stairs as I just did right now. So let's go up. And whatever, let's just collect the hearts. You can also crouch and walk and whip the whip in uh, very different directions, like uh, diagonally up and squiggly thingy as I'm doing right now. And uh, down, up, left, right. It's it's crazy. It's um, The options are limited. And uh, we're just going to continue through here, keep whipping at those candles and skeletons. I don't know, but I just have to say that I really love 
the song for this. Especially this beginning song. Do 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 God, it's so catchy. It's really catchy, man. Alright, so we're moving on. We're still keeping our whip, and this thing will spit out fire! Spit out fire! <laughs> At us, and we'll just continue whipping, you know? It's that's kinda like our main weapon. And the thing that I uh, kind of like but hate at the same time about Super Castlevania 4, I did play when I was, I was small, but I hardly remember most most of what I'm going through. I don't think I even finished the game. So this is kind of like going back in time and finishing something I never really finished. Um, and uh, the thing that I hated that I was going to say was that um, in other Castlevania games, the weapons that you have, like the knife, the little shuriken looking thing, they were very important in the game. They were very important, and uh, they were important because you needed to, like, you know, play strategically, wait until like enemies' reactions, and then use it. But in here, you just have your whip. There's no kind of use for the items that you got, really. It was. It's more like spam the whip. But it's all right. I like the game. I'm not talking anything bad about it. I love the game. Don't get me wrong. And those things that you need to swing at. Oh god, I remember I had a hard, 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 super hard time getting through those things in later levels. They get more challenging. Alright, so we're going to continue whipping. And I think this is like an invincibility kind of thing. They just walk through things. I was kind of trying to test it out, but I ran out of it. So, I just ran out, man. It's good. Getting the hearts. Getting the whoop. Getting our whip. <laughs> And we continue through the stage, you know. Now we get holy water. That was holy water, I think. I remember that holy water. And those things are tricky. God! <laughs> it's, they just fall, like, right when you're underneath it. But they're easy to take, take, take off. Take on, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> okay, time twisted. Alright, so that was off. Um... And I remember I also hated these horses when I was small. <laughs> See? They just... I, I don't know, it's kind of hard to whip them. So, oh god, and this one's coming back. Alright, it's good. Settled. And oh god. See, those things are already costing me a lot of um, health. And right on top of the screen, you get the health bar. Of, uh, I'm re already missing uh, more than half of my health already. And then on the bottom, that's this enemy. I think that's the boss this level and more horses more horses all right let's just get the money let's get the cash and leave man let's, let's get out now I'm climbing up the stairs and moving on to this place and now we get a stopwatch and these medusa heads they're hard to predict at least for me I don't know how you guys can do it but I'm pretty sure you guys are be way better than me than that is like, I just, I will just retreat, like, at what I'm doing right now, in Crouch. Cause I'd rather not take anything, because they take more than two whips to get- OH, WAS THAT CHICKEN?! <laughs> Holy shit, man, that was chicken, man. That was, seriously- Chicken recovers your health in this, in this, in this, uh, game. And, and it's true with the other games, but, you know, it's, it's chicken, you- Chicken! I mean, come on, it's chicken! <laughs> I think Belmont really likes, like, KFC. He goes out to eat some KFC to get recover some health. <laughs> A bucket of chicken wings, man. <laughs> Alright, so moving on. Let's go through here. And be careful of this thing again. And... What do you have here? More chicken! Yeah, man! <laughs> Two pieces of chicken? We're good. Alright, this is a boss. But I'm, I like to cheat in this. I just throw knives, and that's pretty much it. We just spam the knives since they're at the range of the head of the horse. And this guy's just gonna come in, form once again, and I actually messed up right there. I got hit. And that would be the end of it. I think that's the only level that I'm really good at. And of course, this whip everything, but the. Uh, what we're supposed to get. Alright, so we got it, man. Building on! Alright, and we recover health at the end of each level. And I guess, guys, we're close to the end of this episode because we just finished that stage. 
and we're moving on. And I like how they show you like the little path that you just went through and the path that you're about to take. Alright, so thank you for watching. See you guys in the next episode.